The anticipation is mounting here as both sides get set for this matchup between the Detroit Lions and the Chicago Bears here at Soldier Field. We were at practice this week with both teams and just watching them. You could tell they're going to lean on the ground game a little bit more maybe than most people expect, which is going to surprise some folks. Yeah, I think it's going to surprise a lot of people. It's going to surprise the, the opposite defense. There's no doubt. Might even surprise some of the people in the stands who want to come here and see these star quarterbacks. Well, it's going to be about these running backs today. Let's see who can win the battle. Waves his arm, and he's going to make a fair catch. Hester's a receiver in the slot. Now first and ten. Hester's going to take the handoff now. And that's a big-time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. That's second down coming up. The handoff running behind the tackle. Got a little crease. Nothing like getting a long running play for a touchdown. When you do, you just feel like you're stealing something. It takes good blocks, but most importantly, it takes a talented running back to get it done, and this team definitely has one. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. Offense lines up here. First and ten as they go ground here. They break through. Tackle up behind the line. So many things you could do on first down. And what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Stafford sells the play fake and looks downfield. We're early in this one, but already a crucial third and long play coming up. Uh, these are tough situations. What are you going to do on the offensive side? There's only so much you can do. If I was the defense, I would look for a screen. He'll throw it over the middle. And he's intercepted. You get an opportunity like this, you want to take advantage of it. The defense did. The opportunity was there. They get a chance to intercept the football. They do. Now can their offense take advantage of this situation? Clock's running down. Hester's got it on the handoff, and he's in for the touchdown. I would bet first and goal that the offense, about 90% of the time, is going to run the football. And what do they do here? 
They run it and they get it done. That is power football at its best. The Bears with the PAT to come. Add the extra point. The kick is good. Robbie Gold ready to kick it. He'll have a chance to take off. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. First down here, Stafford in shotgun formation. Working that left side, Calvin Johnson with the catch. He's got some daylight. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? That reception gave them the first down. The handoff to Reggie Bush. This team likes to throw the football in the end zone once they get inside the red zone. This is a nice changeup. They fool them. Well, they thought they were going to fool them with the run, but it only gets a short game. That leads us to second down. Bush then picks up about three. Well, here you go. This is going to be a big call in the game, Jim. You're down. You're down here on the goal line. You've got to find a way to punch it in. Third and goal to go from the two. And the give to Reggie Bush. Good job that time by the defense. They stop him short on third and goal. What will the offense do? I'm sure the defense is hoping they go for it. Fourth down, goal to go, and they're going for it. That's a missed opportunity, and now they'll have to bring out the defense. Finally, the defense stood up. It's fourth down. They've given up a long drive, but they come through in the clutch that time. Nice job. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Looks to his left. Drops the pass. You don't see it often in today's game. These gloves these wide receivers wear, my gosh, anybody could catch it. I don't know how he dropped it. The Lions come out in the nickel from the shotgun. Reaches out and grabs it. They bring him to the turf. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. They've got a first down now after that catch. Hester's taking the handoff. Trying the right side. He's got a wide open alley. That'll stop the play right there. An off tackle run. It's a staple of all offenses in the NFL. And a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle where the left tackle is the pass blocker. Wide to the left. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out of it? First and 10. Forte is going to get it again here. They've got him down there. Nice run that time by the running back, and if they keep running the football like this, it's just a matter of time before they fake it and throw that football over the top of the defense. They are being physical, the running back doing a good job, and they are making it happen in the running game today. set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. That's a touchdown. 
What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But in today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. They've got to make the catch. That time he did. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. On first down. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. And that gets the first down. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down. Keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities <laughs> 15 minutes down 45 minutes to go and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports <laughs> the Lions come out in the pistol and the second quarter is underway with this snap. Gain of 12. The slam route made famous by the West Coast offense, something that really, I thought, came in the league when Bill Walsh started with the 49ers in 1979. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Looking across the middle, incomplete, almost intercepted. Bad job that time by the quarterback. He misses the receiver on the slant route. When you're throwing the slant route, you got to throw it right into the stomach of the receiver so it's easy for him to make the catch, and he can protect himself also. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Well, Jim, that didn't pull the defense at all. Second down, you run the football, hoping to make it third and short. Then you lose yards, third longs. They're hard to get in the NFL. And Pettigrew's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Very nearly intercepted. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield, punt the football. Reggie Bush is in the backfield. Matthew Stafford from the shotgun. Ooh, they failed to pick up the first, and the ball will go back to the other side. 